We all know that mothers play a crucial role in our lives as the heart of the household, but fathers play an equally important role as the head of our homes. They are our mentors, our providers, our protectors. So today we will be paying tribute to the superhero in our lives, because after all, not all superhero wear capes. I'm Janina Chan, Washi Tai Shiren, and this is Chinoy TV, Beihua Dian Shi Tai. A leader in business and a loving father. Let's get to know more about the man behind one of the country's most successful beauty brands and how his failures motivate him even more to succeed in life. I believe in hard work. I don't believe that there's luck or lucky in life. I term luck or lucky as blessings, and blessings will come through hard work. Hi, I'm Giselle Dosi, Sui Chi Ching. I'm a businessman, I'm a Chinoy, I'm dubbed as a, the father of Philippine Cosmetics. This is my profile. In my young years, I was fortunate to be the favorite of my Lolo or my Angkong. I should say he was the uh, pioneer of Philippine cosmetics. He was able to give me some lessons in life, even when I was eight, nine, ten years old, and I was able to absorb some of his wisdom. That's why I think it's one of the few uh, advantages I had to become, I should say, a successful businessman today. After my college days, I decided to go back to the business which I know, which was cosmetics. After nail polish, I said to myself, nail polish alone is not too big, so I have to expand. So I expanded to eyeshadow, lipstick, compact powder, and so on and so forth. I immediately felt, immediately felt the difference when the EDSA One revolution came in. There was a sudden surge of uh, confidence in our economy. My foreign or Taiwan uh, supplier or partner was able to extend some credit lines. Very fortunately, the business grew three times in 1986. That was the start of uh, growing together as a business and as with the country's economy. First major struggle I, I had was in 97 when the Asian crisis came in. And the sad thing happened was the peso depreciated from 26.50 to 50. So suddenly our loans doubled because of the Asian crisis. The good thing is uh, I have a solid foundation in the business. So it's a temporary setback but we were able to recover after a couple of years. So I was able to look for good suppliers, major partners, who were able to help us out and transform with me on our goal to have these uh, expensive cosmetics into affordable ones, but of global uh, quality. I always made to a point that my product should be sold at 50% of the minimum wage. So that's the trick to be successful. I was able to do that all these years, and that's one of the things that I want to share to my, to my next gen who will next run the company. Very important for me is the culture, Chinese culture, I want to share with them. Uh, I talk to them in Hokkien at home. My mentors, the Go Kongways and the Seas, all their kids are all down to earth, grounded. So you have to be like that. Do not be uh, very extravagant. Don't go for the expensive or branded products. It's the same thing as the common or normal product lines. I, I maintain this. Uh, uh, culture to them and I think I, I believe I'm quite successful in this. I think you have to spend time with the kids. I, for, my, for me, I see to it that uh, every Sunday I go to church with my kids. We 
we have lunch together and dinner together. So you can see how much they have changed, how much they have developed. And that's the only way you can teach them or train them or correct them. Ever Belena is a product of hard work. I think the, the brand in itself is already a legacy that I hope can stay for another 35 years. Today we just celebrated our 35th year. I hope there will be another 35 years with my daughter running it. So I believe Ever Belena will be a legacy for our people. I, I hope that the next gen young guys, the millennials, will be like our generation wherein we work hard, we don't have such thing as entitlement. And that's what I see in today's kids. Everybody felt like they should be entitled. Share to their kids that do not make them entitled. Make them work hard, then entitlement will come. Nothing is impossible. So that's what I want to share to our Chinois who are watching now and uh, don't be discouraged and also put God in the center of everything, then you'll be all right. Hi, I'm Giselle Dosi, Sui Chi Ching. I'm a businessman, I'm a Chinoy, I'm dubbed as uh, the father of Philippine Cosmetics. This is my profile. All failures always lead to success as long as we learn from them. So let's not be paralyzed by committing mistakes. Rather, let's be bold and have courage to always keep on moving forward, no matter where life's ups and downs take us. It can also remove polyps that cause bleeding. Chinoy TV is brought to you by Nation for Complete Waterline UPVC, Philippine Valve Manufacturing Company. Macron Trading. Yokian Garcia. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific.